The so-called doomsday clock is now 30 seconds closer to midnight. It's supposed to be a measure of how well the world is functioning as a whole, but scientists say it hasn't been going so well lately. It is two minutes to midnight. A move in the wrong direction. According to the Atomic Scientists Science and Security Board, the closer the doomsday clock gets to midnight, the worse conditions are in the world. Over the years, the clock has been moved forward and backward as conditions have changed. The last time it was moved was in 2017. But it hasn't been this close to midnight and the supposed end of the world since the 1950s. The doomsday clock has been as close as two minutes to midnight in 1953, when the U.S. and then Soviet Union were testing their hydrogen bombs, and as far away as 17 minutes to midnight in 1991, at the end of the Cold War, when the U.S. and Russia were actively engaged in arms control negotiations. The current military incidents along Russia's borders are just one of the reasons why the clock was moved closer to midnight this time around. Others include tension between the U.S. and North Korea and looming nuclear threats, Iran's nuclear program, climate change, and the misuse of information and technology to undermine public trust. Scientists say more needs to be done to fix these global problems, but those solutions are not easy. We can't simply just go to North Korea and say, hey, you should stop testing your nuclear weapons. Um, you know, we need to bring them into the entire regime. If nothing is done, scientists say we're more likely to have some sort of apocalyptic event, which could spell the end of the human race. There is unfortunately little doubt, but that the risk of nuclear weapons may be used intentionally or because of miscalculation grew last year around the globe. And once again, another global worry, climate change. Scientists say last year was one of the hottest on record, and they say that contributed to last summer's severe hurricanes and wildfires.